near Miyawaki, in which a native species of plant are planted close to each other and then that the greens receive sunlight from the top and grow upwards then sideways. This helps the forest to grow 30 times denser, grows 10 times faster and becomes maintenance free after 2 to 3 years. There are a few steps needed for Mayawaki technique. Step 1. Determine the soil texture and quantity of biomass. Soil texture helps determine water holding capacity, water infiltration, root perforation capacity. Now we'll go to the site of Miyawaki technique. We have reached at the site. Before we go on planting, we will see the required steps. These are storage house for materials required to add to the soil. So let's see what are those materials needed to add to the soil. Perforator materials help to improve perforation and allow roots to grow quickly like husk. Water retainer helps soil retain more moisture and water like coco peat. Mulch insulates and protects the soil. It prevents the soil from drying up. This is especially important in the first 6 to 8 months as the plants are young. Mulch also plays a huge role in preventing water from evaporating like rice straw and wheat straw. Organic fertilizer. Here is organic fertilizer tank where the waste is placed and we get organic manure. This is a plant nursery where tree species for planting is selected. We should try to plant as many species as possible for biodiversity and make, make a database of all native species of the area. Identify its maximum height to assign later. Ideal height is 60 to 80 cm. Choose at least 5 major species which make 50% uh, of the number of trees in the forest. Rest supporting trees which makes 25 and then small species. The next step is designing the forest. Any plantation requires tons of water, so watering plants is the major part. The water pipeline layout may need to be designed by an architect based on the daily water requirements for the area, backed by bowel wells and overhead tanks. The forest should be watered regularly for the first 2-3 to three years. Then identify the exact area for afforestation so as to procure material and execute the plan. Step 4 is preparing the area. Confirm the availability of fencing, maintenance staff, running of water and sunlight. The site should get sunlight for a minimum of 8-9 to nine hours a day. No pipes, drains, wires or debris should be present in the area. Removing debris and weeds. Weeds take away nutrition of the soil and also restrict movement of material by people. Hence, they should be cleaned either manually or using JCB. Preparing the ground for plantation. First, dig the earth to a depth of 1 meter on 100 square meter land. Put half the earth back into the pit and spread it uniformly. This is to make the soil loose. Mix with the soil half the biomass prepared in the previous step. Then put the remaining soil back into the pit and spread it uniformly. Now mix the remaining biomass with the soil evenly. Afterwards, shape the soil into a mound. In the Mayawaki method, all saplings will be planted together on a mound. Place plants on the mound to create a multi-layered natural forest. Try to group plants that grow in different layers. Don't follow the same pattern while planting the trees. Try to maintain a 60 cm distance between saplings. To plant the tree, dig a small pit on the uh, mold with the towel. Remove the root bag in which the plant was growing and gently place the plant in the pit. Level the soil outside gently around the stem of the plant but do not press the soil. Saplings need support during the initial months so that they don't droop or bend. So place a stick, mulching, 
mulch should be evenly laid out on the soil in a 5 to 7 inch layer, inch layer. To ensure that the mulch stays on the ground and does not fly around, first watering. The first time, the forest should be watered for an hour. Minimum water requirement is 5 liters per square meter. Water the forest with a hose pipe once a day. Keep the forest weed free for the first 2 or 3 years. Once the forest starts growing, weed growth will stop. Ensure that the plants stay straight and are not buried under the mulch. Tied uh, and uh, and are only loosely tied to the support stick. Keep the forest clean and free of plastic, paper, etc. Maintain proper drainage systems so that water does not get into the accumulated accumulated anywhere in the forest. Mortality rate of plants is usually 22 to 5 percent. Do not use any chemicals like pesticide. If you notice pests. Leave them undisturbed. For the forest will slowly build its own mechanism to keep itself healthy. Mulching should be maintained for at least one year. What is the